Hello everyone and welcome back to online replays. My name is Ben Pope. Uh, this is going to be a bit of Bactria versus Patria. Patria. I picked Bactria and I went with kind of a less standard army for them. I went with um, three Eastern Slingers, one Elite Persian Archer. I have uh, five Thurio Spears mixed in with uh, three Thorax Swordmen. Uh, two of the Thorio Spears are on the side because I knew they were going to try to come in with their horses. And I had four Citizen Cav just to kind of try to catch up with some of their horses. I didn't know what kind of horses they were going to bring. Um, and I didn't want to spend money on some of the heavier ones. The only heavy tank I have is my General, which is a Royal Cav. Uh, excuse me. So he brings he brings two Parthian horse archers, uh, two Median cavalry, um, the other two are on the other side. He has uh, I believe two. He has four of these Parthian swordsmen. He has a Persian hoplite there and a Persian hoplite here. Um, and I think he has two light archers. Persian light archers. And he's got a mercenary Sarmatian Lancer, a Noble Horse Archer, his general is also a Noble Horse Archer, and a, he's got an Eastern Cataphract, which is the the deadly unit there, I think. Uh, one second, I gotta turn on music. Right. Now music is on. I had it off because I was... I don't know what I was doing. Um... Yeah, so we're going to speed this up a bit. He is going to shift up on the hill, and I wanted to follow so I don't get completely outflanked that way. And so he just charges his um, horse archer with a median cab here. And he's, he's hoping to get around um, back to my skirmisher and whatnot. But I, I kept everyone in here just to sort of um, prevent anything from happening. And for me, this... Again, I'm not very experienced in this, so I end up doing a lot of mistakes. But right now he's he's shooting at my Thurio Spears, which are not going to take a lot of damage from this guy. And I bring my uh, two of my Eastern, well, I guess that's a the Elite Persian Archer and uh, Eastern Slinger. He's going to shoot those guys to bits. And he has moved his... Um, Median calf here, so I know that I have to counter that, and I sort of close my the path to my archers with this Thurio spears, and I move this guy away as well. Uh, as you can see, um, he's just gonna charge into my Thurio spears, which he doesn't want to be doing that. And you see the Parthian horse archers have already routed because of my archer fire uh, taking them out. These guys have longer range, both. Uh, Slingers and the archers have longer range than those horsemen did. And what happens now is he's bringing all his other horses on this side, and I said, well, this is kind of trouble. So I'm shooting at them with my slingers. It's not going to do much. And I moved my Thurio spears to face his infantry. And uh, he, at this point, he's broken away from my spears here and attacked him, so I stopped them with Citizen Cav. Uh, he's shooting and already routing my slingers with the horses he has here. I'm trying to um, oops. I'm trying to face him with these spears and toss javelins, but then he's then I'm getting shot from there. So this is kind of getting kind um, of become a mess for me. And I just get my general out of there because I know that I need to keep my general safe. And uh, pretty much I sacrifice all these uh, citizen cav. And um, I tossed in a couple of Thorio spears, uh, Thurio spears, uh, to soak up the damage. And I just go ahead and charge his line as, they, as he comes up. And um, he does a smart thing and comes through to these units so they don't just sit there and toss javelins, uh, which I was hoping to keep him there to support. Um, his uh, noble horse archer ends up getting killed here. Uh, with my citizen calf, it's gonna route um, 
my general is back here now and he has free range to do some counter some charges in the back and he's gonna do that I'm gonna lose my archers uh, but that is the name of the game sometimes you just you have to give up one section of the battle to gain in the next so see that flattened out his sword unit there his um, I'm not even sure why that archer unit was routing. Um, but interestingly enough, my citizen cav and my. I still have slingers that survived. They were able to mostly survive back here, and I wasn't even paying enough attention. Now I realize that I'm doing okay here, and I sort of reposition. Um, my general is getting shot by his archers so I go ahead and chase him uh, he's still got a noble horse archer that's doing a lot of damage to me and this is kind of holding out in my favor the whole the rest of the fight he charged his horse archers because they were out of ammo charged them into here but uh, ended up not doing very well uh, my general gets rid of his archers and I kind of let go of this unit too early um, and they end up stab stabilizing. I thought they were gonna route and, and go away. And uh, again, I was so busy with, with everything, trying to get these guys to do something. I had units coming back from routing, but I, I ended up not even using these, not realizing that I still had them. So it's quite hilarious when I sit back and look at this. Um, my general keeps doing rear charges. He's got the better of those half flights there. Nobody's surviving, but I'm getting shot in the back from this light archer, and I think I actually lose my general. It doesn't tell me anything, but yeah, I don't actually know what's going on here. Citizen cab. Okay, I was just trying to keep him busy with the citizen cab, and again, I don't attack my, I don't take my general to attack the archers, and they keep shooting at me. So that was a mistake there, but um, I go ahead and flatten out another one of his sword units, and this was the key to to me doing well here is is this royal cav general. Uh, although he's gonna be low on men soon because they keep he keeps uh, shooting arrows at me, and again I'm gonna point out here. I have all these units that I'm doing nothing with. I totally forgot about them. It's quite sad. I still had um, I guess my slingers were firing at, at something uh, and they still had ammo but you know I had half of a citizen cav there which is good to have a third of spears and, and more citizen cav uh, that I'm doing nothing with and um, let's see this a good charge here from the general again. Understood. Yes, commander. Gets rid of those hoplites. Um, and at this point, I, I realized that this swordsman was sitting out here by itself, um, and I put him into shield so he doesn't take as much fire damage. Um, His Parthian swordsmen are chopping at my Thurio Spears there. And at this point, I just have so many units on the field uh, that eventually I'm just gonna forward a little bit. You see his his other units, that unit broken and, uh, and routed, and he charges the Snowball Horse Archers in while it was breaking and routing. Uh, and he's gonna end up losing all of it really in route and that was the end of that fight so all in all a good game for my opponent did a lot better of managing his troops than I did um, mainly because I forgot about a ton of my guys like like I still had almost a full unit of slingers here and um, you know they were back sitting 
you know, laying down in the sand, having a, having a nap, getting tan, not actually fighting. And some of these citizen calf too, they were back there. And uh, my general got the most kills, so that almost 300 kills there from them. I believe I used them um, successfully, put them good, to good use, and they get the award for unit of the day in this fight. So yeah, very. I enjoyed this fight. I was actually afraid that I was losing the fight. Uh, while I was fighting this and it was towards the end uh, because I was so trying to move all these units around forgetting about some of my other units I thought I only had like the small infantry force in my general um, that, that was there in the front and then it was kind of a surprise when when uh, my match, match was over and I was like wait I still have all these other guys <laughs> sitting around so yeah hopefully you enjoyed that one it was kind of more comical than anything else because I uh, tend to laugh at myself um, when I do stupid stuff so for me it was kind of comical but it was also a good fight uh, kudos to my opponent for putting up a good fight and um, I'll hopefully see you guys soon with another one of these thank you for watching don't forget to hit like subscribe and comment and uh, let me know what you think I'm uh, obviously learning and um, if you want to play against me, just uh, join my Steam group. I have a link in the description below. And uh, we can chat up there. And when I do have time, I will um, be able to play maybe even every day if, uh, a match or two. So um, hit me up if you want to play online room 2 battles. And we will get that going. And um, yeah, I'll keep making these videos. They're fun. Thanks, you guys. Bye.